ever, ever in his life. In oh, his by life. the way, Joe is a gay man who is polyamorous. So he had two husbands. Mm. Uh, both husbands apparently were not gay. Yeah. They just, that's so fucked that how everyone's using each other. Yeah. Cause one of them was like fucking the receptionist in the front and the other one was just like free meth and drugs. They and, were all fucking meth heads doing crazy yeah. meth together. So yeah. one of his husbands, you'll see him in the documentary. Um, he, uh, <laughs> yeah, you just assume he's gay throughout the whole thing. But towards the end he goes, I've been dating women my whole life. <laughs> Since, since I was in kindergarten all the way till high school, I was I was with women. Yeah. So I was like, so you're not gay? I'm like, gay. <laughs> <laughs> and his other husband was a 19-year-old kid from Southern California. Was he? Yeah, he's from California. Damn, that one that... Yeah, that 19-year-old yeah. kid. Wow. And then I think uh, what they were saying that he was just basically doing it for free drugs and just mm -hmm. get, being able to live with a dude, bunch of Dude, that cats. dude had the biggest fucking hands. Yes, he was huge. Big ass hands, size 16 feet. Yeah, he was huge. <laughs> he was like six foot six. Yeah. Giant dude. And yeah. he wasn't gay. He wasn't gay. He wasn't fucking gay. Mm -hmm. Spoiler alert for <sighs> those. He fucking kills himself. Right. And is caught on camera. Yeah. So they noticed that he, throughout this, this documentary is fucking crazy. Yeah, man. man I, I can't. Like, it's hard to, it's hard to describe. Um, this document is so fucking crazy. Um, it started... One of the things that I noticed was in the doc, they didn't have any personal interviews of that husband, really. The, the one that mm, killed himself. Right, right. It was because he fucking killed himself. Way, yeah. there, there wasn't any to take from him. Mm -hmm. So he was showing a lot of signs of like depression. He was being really weird. They said that he was just, he, the campaign just, manager said yes. that he would just walk around pointing his gun at people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he said, and he had footage of him doing that. Yeah, yeah. He said that. He said one time he, I woke up and he had a gun to my face. <laughs> good morning yeah <laughs> get, up. get up yeah and, he, and so um i guess that day the footage that they have the camera's kind of not faced towards him mm. so he kind of goes off camera and before he actually shot himself he was pointing the gun at the campaign manager they were actually really close friends mm. um they became really close after he started working for joe and then he goes he'll get that gun out of my face like don't fucking play around like that he goes i don't gonna do nothing and he starts swaving the gun around then he puts it in his face mm -hmm. and then boom boom Busts his fucking head open with his gun, right. dies immediately. And the campaign manager is like, it's nothing like you see in the movies. Mm -mm. It's like, wow. Sat there with his fucking mouth open the whole, <laughs> time. <laughs> the whole time. He didn't know what to say. He thought it was a prank or something like that. He's just going to believe it. Just to show you how hilarious this documentary is, after he dies, uh, they do the funeral. Oh. And the Joe Exotic, I, I, <laughs> yo, <laughs> I forgot about that. He starts singing his country music yo. at the fucking funeral and he was making jokes. Yeah. I was like, dog. About his golden nuggets. About his. <laughs> <laughs> this one did a eulogy about his ball sack <laughs> and how beautiful they were. He's like, y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I'm sure everyone's seen his balls. Yeah. Oh, those beautiful golden nuggets. nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> and his mom is just crying in the front. Oh. This, this dude is not. He just killed himself oh. at the funeral. He's doing the eulogy. And in, in his eulogy, he just talks about his fucking beautiful testicles. Yeah. Uh, you cannot make these people up. These are real fucking human beings. Dude. I'm sure y'all know about his beautiful gold nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody saw them. <laughs> and then two months after that, there you he go. Gets, he gets married again. He gets married again to some other young man. Dylan. 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 He's, he's gay for sure, though. Yeah. This kid's gay for sure. Like, <laughs> yeah. This one's, he's gay for pay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In love with him. He marries after two months later. He gets his uh, ex. Exes or his husband who passed away. Travis, yeah. Uh, mother. Mother to come to the fucking wedding. It's just her. Yeah. And him. The cameraman. The cameraman. And that's it. Yeah. And after that, he never. So he was just, and she said that she felt like she was used because he just wanted proof that she had approval. Yeah. That he can move on and all that stuff. And so fucking garbage. The guy's fuck. Oh. Did you guys also know that he ran for the, uh, the president of the United States? <laughs> <laughs> that's what we during the like. Trump and Clinton. Oh, that's, this is recent, guys. This is fucking recent. <laughs> yeah. So he ran for president. That's why I meant he had a campaign manager. The campaign manager was trying to run for presidency, mm -hmm. and then because he realized he wasn't going to do that, he wanted to be governor. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> that was fun. Which was fucking crazy. Yeah. He was like, you know what we're going to do to ISIS. <laughs> <And then he's laughs> It's a, the dummy, or, yeah, the dummy or like a 
Whatever that thing was. And then he just blows it up. He has a habit of blowing shit up, mm-hmm. by the way. Uh, there was a part too where <laughs> when Carol was suing him for a million fucking oh, dollars man. and he had no assets, he starts, you know, obviously he's recording himself every day and he just goes, you want to get what I have? Yeah. I don't have anything. Yeah. You want my bed? <laughs> Cuts to a scene, blows up his bed. <laughs> you want my watch? <laughs> Cuts to a scene, blows, blows up, up the watch. watch. <laughs> It's ridiculous. Uh, yeah. I can't even get my mind is so scrambled with this this damn show. I I it's it's weird because I know the allure of wanting to pet a tiger really mm. bad. I forgot where I was. I think I was in Japan mm. and they had this thing where you were behind the glass and you could pay to pet a tiger. Am I fucking this up with reality or is this a dream? A dream? <laughs> Cuz like I feel like Gina was there. Oh. Uh. And then I think Gina was the one that told me like, yo, they actually kind of drugged them up and, oh. you know, that's why it's, it's, it's really inhumane. Mm. But if Gina wasn't there, I would have petted that tiger. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Gina did post something like that. Yeah. It's like super inhumane. Mm-hmm. I would have petted the fuck out of that tiger. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I mean, I wanna... that's what he did when he was running. What was it? Didn't he bring him to like the Chamber of Commerce or something like that? Yeah. Yeah. To like. He's also a magician too, by the way. <laughs> Was he? Oh my God, he was. He's a Dude. <laughs> He's a pizza owner, gay gun right owner, uh, pizza parlor owner, uh, tiger sanctuary dude, and he also does magic. <laughs> I forgot about that. Dude, I can't. There's so much. There's so much shit about this guy. It's fucking unreal. And then the other dude who was the uh, the doctor of mystical arcs, Doc Antle, he's also polyamorous. He has mm-hmm. a bunch of girls. Oh, you know that guy that I said... Uh, a fucking um the guy who uh who has said he was like no duh uh, uh. he says something fucking funny too he goes when i met doc antle uh he was asking me it's like well do you want to learn how to take care of cats he goes i already know how to take get that type of cats i'm trying to figure out how you get pussy <laughs> <laughs> he's like you don't remember that shit <laughs> no he goes i'm not trying to figure out how to get those type of cats i'm trying to figure out how to get pussy because he would have like four or five different hot wives fuck who the hell are you talking about man, yeah, so that, that guy was like a cult leader so th- there was like women who would uh work for him and he had a house for each each girl that he was with oh yeah and, and one of the girls that was being interviewed she was forced to get a boob job oh, i forgot about her yeah she got it too she got a boob job she got everything else and she was a little weird herself yeah and it's funny because she was talking about how oh when i looked for this job Oh, on oh, Craigslist, wasn't it? Yeah, it was no. like no, the Craigslist people was the guy who was the zoo, zoo manager, the zookeeper. He goes, I. <laughs> it was yeah. that that really weird skinny guy with the. He he was the, the one that eats all the food from the from Walmart. Oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. he was like, when I looked up for this job, I found it on Craigslist, yeah, <laughs> right? Like, and I, like, I ain't never done this before. <laughs> fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then he's the manager of the zoo. Yeah, just like that. There's no another training. guy too. When you look at the documentary, he has two fake legs. And I was like, oh shit, oh, yeah. this motherfucker got eaten he by these tigers. Legs. And yeah. he was like, a lot of people think that I got my legs eaten by a tiger. I no z- zip lining accident. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, dude. <laughs> this motherfucker flew off a zip yeah. line and then busted his spine and he had to amputate his legs. <laughs> This documentary is so crazy. And there was the other girl. How do you remember all this? This uh, is crazy. Because it was so intense. Yeah. There was one of the other zoo girls. She uh, lost her arm. One of the one of the. Oh uh, yeah, I liked her. She actually could have saved her arm, Mm -hmm. and she was so down for Joe Exotic. So just to put this in perspective, there was a point where um, she got her arm mauled by a fucking tiger, where it was basically done. But she decided uh, because she loved the tiger sanctuary so much and she knew that there was a lot of animal rights activists trying to take down the sanctuary that it was taking about two years for her to rehabilitate her arm so she could use it again Mm -hmm. or they could have amputated it and she could have gone home in a couple of weeks. The reason why she decided to amputate her arm and not save her arm, even though she could have kept it, was because that if she stayed in that hospital, a lot of reporters would have came and they would have dragged out uh, shitting on the tiger mm-hmm. sanctuary. So if she if she cut off her arm, went back to work, like she was completely fine with it, it would have died down. Yeah. And so she yeah. sacrificed herself for that fucking sanctuary. Yeah. That's how much she loves that shit. Yeah. And she was brainwashed. Brainwashed, but you know she she uh, towards the end, like when they interview her, because they asked her like, do you think he would have had the, the ability to hire someone to kill Carol? He was like, no, he doesn't have it in him. <laughs> yeah. And she, then cut to, so how are we gonna kill her? She does. She Carol's on this route. He's to still take dumb. her out with a blow dart. It's like $3,000. Yeah. 
$3,000 is like nothing. Like I've never tried to uh, hire somebody to assassinate someone, but I'm pretty sure it would not cost $3,000 fucking dollars. It's so fucking dumb. Yeah. $3,000. And then he was like, what, what? He's like, I just, just walk up to her in a parking lot and shoot her. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's yeah. the whole fucking elaborate plan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I wish I remember the name of the weird looking guy. Damn. I, I That guy looks so fucking funny, man. I'm going to look at the informant for Joe Exotic. Was that Jerry? No. He was so weird looking. If I just put fat weird guy, I'm pretty sure he would pop up. <laughs> Joe Exotic. Currently in jail right now. He's a... Uh, actually, I did see someone on uh, uh, Twitter that he's still posting from jail 